It's been a long time coming. I got a new air, condi air conditioner today. Excuse my voice. And so I had to move all of my fall decor so they can install this. I took some things off my porch because the wind is fierce out there. So in the process, I pulled out my reef. So I might as well just try to start getting some of my Christmas Christmas decorations up. So please excuse my voice. And um, I haven't vlogged in quite some time. I have to disassemble all, this, all these things here. I definitely don't have everything that I want to use. So I'm going to start. So since I do have my wreath, uh -oh. I'm going to start with the reef. This little reef is heavy. It's really heavy. Gonna remove the fall leaf. And I never took the look how much I paid for the reef guys three years ago. About ninety nine at a consignment shop. Three years ago. And this is a $30 beef, or maybe more. Now this is my first time trying to hang it on a reef. And it's too thick, as we can see. So, I'm gonna have to opt for another way to hang it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Maybe. Hold on, guys. I have to sit you down. Okie doke. There we go. I had to turn the hanger the other way and get the, the round part of the hanger such as that. Happy holidays, guys. Okay, guys, so I did try to go back there and get my tree out of storage. And um, it's just too difficult for me with my oxygen on. And um, I didn't think to get the kids to get it out while they were here for Thanksgiving. So um, the delivery guys are coming here today to me some oxygen so hopefully hopefully I can ask them to go out there and um 
and get my tree for me. <clears throat> so, in the meantime, I got some things you guys can do around here. I do have these pictures I bought last month that I never got up on the wall. So I guess I'll do that. Get these up on the wall. Um, throw away my fall decor when I'm not going to continue to use. Get that stored up. Now I can try to, it's really too cold out there. I'm waiting to be able to nice today to maybe get out here and um, <clears throat> clean up my uh, patio. And I was thinking about um, decorating the patio. I don't know. I don't like the cold, so. Um, these can come off. I was thinking about just taking this off um, and just putting it back on next floor and use the the uh, the um, thing here, whatever it's called, and do a DIY for Christmas. So I'm thinking about it. So we'll see. I do have um, some reef that I didn't use. I don't know if it's. Oh, what's that? Oh, something dropped. Did y'all hear it? I never used this. I think it was that antenna. Oh no, my, my thing here. Okay, so I never used this. So, that was gonna go good on here for DIY. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Take the fall leaves off and get some more stuff to go on this and make my own wreath. But I need the rest of my Christmas decorations out because so I can know what I have to work with. But hang in here with me, guys, while I get it together. You guys know how I feel about being on the screen. I'm still waiting on my dental work. But that's one of the reasons why I'll be held back because I'm so adamant about not getting on the screen without my grill, that the Holy Spirit is pushing me today, so I'm going to do the best I can. Hang in there with me. <clears throat> I want to share with you guys where I get my duvets from, the machine. They are very nice and reasonable prices. So I was looking through here for some greenish for my bedding. I don't think I want to go dark green. And that's nice and simple. And if you want a full size, the last two I bought, I ordered a queen size. I don't know what made me think I had a queen size bed, but I do have a full size bed. So, click on the full size, and that would be $30. If I decide to get that one, so we're going to just add that to the bag, <clears throat> just in case. Because it was another one I was looking at. Um, that I was more interested in. Well, this is cute. That's cute. Now, I think that's just the sheet. The filler sheet. Okay. Come on. For full, oh, $17. And for that price, you'll get the duvet and the two pillowcases for $17. Get 
add that to the bag. And I'm going to continue to look through. And then I usually go back to the cart. And then what will I decide to get? And I really like that one. That's just a little bit more active. Let's see where's the bag. Um, I'm on the website right now. I normally do this from my app. See the difference? Oops, with my license show. Well, let's cover that up. There's a um, what? Seventeen dollar difference. Yeah, and but I like that one more. And it's less expensive. The thirty dollar one is twelve percent off. And the $17 is half off. So, you know, I'm going to get the sale. I already decided I'm going to go with that one. So I just wanted to share this app with you guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is the very next day. And as you can see, I got nothing done. I ran out to the store and it took longer than I expected. I was out there for two and a half hours maybe. And by the time I came in and cooked dinner, it was all she wrote. I was exhausted. The wind was so fierce out there last night. So it was pushing me down the street. And even with the oxygen on, I couldn't breathe. So I had to keep stopping and going into stores and uh, catching my breath because the wind was suffocating me. Uh, it was horrible. So we did get some snow. We did. One thing about it, when it snows here, it doesn't be that cold, but yesterday was horrible. Last night was worse. Um, so I missed the delivery guy. He left my oxygen outside my apartment. So I still haven't had anyone to come in here and go in my storage bin and get the tree out. Huh, so, we're gonna continue to do what we can do. See Family Dollar? Like, give it a red sign is. We're gonna do what we can do. Let's see. Right there, family dollar. Yeah. And right there where that roof is right here, there's Taco Bell. And right there is Wendy's. No, that's, yeah, Wendy's. Wendy's right there. And that's Breakfast and dinner between. I ate there one time. <sighs> but, yeah. Whew. Excuse my heavy breathing, you guys. It's so much to be done. I mean, it, it's not really a lot to be done. A bunch of small stuff, but to me, when things are not organizing my apartment. Oh, not focused, okay. It appears to be a lot. So all these are clean clothes here and there. That's a laundry. This blanket was given out yesterday at the food pantry. Subaru supports the community. Subaru loves to help his insulated. It's really nice. Tumble dry, low heat, do not iron, do not bleach, and no fabric softener. So, yeah, it's nice. <clears throat> and it's ironic that I just got one of those yesterday because I gave my grandson a brand new. Blue blanket, this color, yes, but when he went home, that I got last year from somewhere else. 
And of course, my room here is still. I guess I keep showing you all the same old, same old. Well, we, well, I did come in here and do dishes, so I'm just going to wipe up my floor. Um, eventually, trash has to go out. And I'm going to spray the oven just a little bit. After, try to do it after or before. I want to cook a butternut squash. I could use the oven cleaner, but it gets so hot in here with the oven cleaner. And it's just that one spot right there that needs to be cleaned. So I want them to, should I wait? Look, you see, my, my brother cleaned the last time. Look, all the oven cleaner still back there. He didn't wipe it out really well. So, I think I'm going to get the squash in. Get that out the way. Excuse me, guys. I'm so apologetic. By the way, I breathe. Let's see. Well, this basket is clean. A little bit of dishwater. Ooh, do you guys like squash? Oh, you know why I don't have any butter? How can we eat squash without butter? Ugh. Oh boy. Oh, the wedding is pretty. I'm going to cut mine this way. Because I want it to sit up like a bowl. These things are something up to cut. And I don't think I'm should have cut it a little bit higher. I think it's too late. Uh, yeah. It's not going evenly. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And we can always just cut off a little bit of the bottom here. So we can sit up like the other one. Like that. There we go. So we're going to take a spoon and we're going to gouge out the seeds. Use some pomegranate with my squash. Maybe I'll do that. Now we have a nice deep holes in our squash. We're gonna spread olive oil on them. Generous amount.
should have been here the other one. In the meantime, I'm going to already wipe around the perimeters of this floor around the stove. And I'm going to just give us a quick freshen up. Excuse me, I'm in front of the camera. Gotta get. Okay, it's already one on. This is very, very cool thing here. We spray a mop as you go along. Three forty two, I'm gonna stick the babies in the oven now. It'll work its way up to four hundred. Hooey. Oh boy, that was a workout. Yes, boy. Ugh. All right, guys. I'm uh, just sit down for 15 minutes or whatever. Catch my breath. I'll be back. Okay, so last night I used this pan to cook some lamb chops in. And I um, really put the works on it. And I didn't do the cleansing on camera on how you take care of cast iron pan, but it's dry now, it's clean, so now I'm going to put some oil on it. I have canola oil, I think. Yeah, canola oil. You do not want to sit your pan into in a pot, I mean, a dish water, a hot dish water. What I did is I put hot water in it. And let it sit to the hot water cool off just so it can loosen up. Then I just cleaned it with soap and water, rinsed it off. And I sat it here and just let it air dry. Um, because I have uh dried it out with paper towel, but then the paper towel get the you know whatever the whatever the paper towel leave behind. And um I just don't want paper towel on my food the next time I cook. You know, sometimes the net come off a dish rag. So I just let it air dry so no the residue will be left on the pan. And I pour oil on it. This is how you take care of it, keep it. And I just rub the oil in, in the cracks. Make sure I get in the cracks. Because this is a grill pan. You wouldn't have to do this like, you still have to make sure you cover a, sur a flat surface, but with the grill pan, you want to make sure you run your fingers through all the grooves. Look, tender. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Or tender. Ooh, nice and tender. Carefully remove them from the stove. From the oven, actually. <laughs> I normally use a, 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 um, a flip. Oh, this is heavy. I gotta sit this phone down, guys. You're not on a tripod. Oh, yes. <laughs> Warm up my lamb chops from last night for lunch. Oh boy. Gang, gang, gang. I don't have any butter. I'm just going to have to eat these like this. Uh, maybe I'll open up a pomegranate. Put some pomegranate with it. And some honey. I think that's what I do. Roasted butternut squash with honey oh, and pomegranates. Butternut squash. Roast it. Pomegranate. Cut it in half. Squeeze, 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 which I should have squeezed it before I cut it. Prepare your squash. You can cut it, you can spoon it, however you like to eat it. I'm going to add some salt. White pepper. Fresh rosemary. And honey. Pure honey. Uh oh, won't come out. <laughs> I'm going to add some pomegranates. As many as you like. With a uh, kick. We have some lamb chops. And this is my lunch. Enjoy.